hello and welcome to postman tutorial so in last tutorial we have understood how you can send the post request and get request in postman and now we will look into how you can send the put request which is to update any details of the project so let me close all these requests uh, that we have open here and then we'll go to the documentation and see what all requests are supported and pick the put request from the documentation so here in the projects of um, developers.asana.com documentation you can see we have looked at um, the, the post request and then we had look at the get request for uh, getting the workspace and getting the teams within the workspace now let's understand how you can use the put request in postman now put request is different from the post so when you do a post request it creates a record in the database and when you say put it updates the existing record in the database so put and patch are required to update the details of an existing record and post is required to create any record in the database so these get put um, post and delete are the basic operations uh, the four crud operations now if we see the documentation of projects we can update the project using the put request so let's go ahead and see the details so if there is an existing project it can be updated by making a put request on the url for that project which is basically this project with the project gid so we have to provide the project gid and then the body parameter as we provided into the post request then we can update the details that we are looking for so when using this method uh, just specify so it says it is best to specify only those fields you wish to change so we'll just change um, some of the fields of the project and not everything so we'll update this body parameter json and remove all the details which are not required or just include the details which we want to update so let's copy this uh, URL, url here and go to postman and create a new request so we'll just say add request and we'll say update a project because this is the project uh, there will be a project that we want to update and click on save and open this update project change the method to put and enter the url okay now you'll see the project GID so let me save this and here we have to pass the project GID so we created a new project let's go to that particular project and go to the we'll just send it and see the response so that we can get the project GID right so in this particular project that's the project GID that you will get and we want to update the name of this particular project so currently if you see uh, the name let me see this is the RCV postman project we'll change it to RCV postman project updated okay so I've copied the GID for the project we'll go to the put request and paste the project GID here okay and now because this is a put request it will require the body parameter as well so just change to body click on raw and change it to json type json because if you see the documentation we need to provide the body parameter as the json format json document copy everything from there and we'll remove everything that is not required as recommended in the documentation and we'll just keep the name there okay and we'll say the name to be updated as let's see we'll go to this project the name is uh, rcv postman project we'll just copy that and we want to change the name to rcv postman project updated okay and that's pretty much it so once you have done all these details because your put request is part of the asana test demo collection we had configured the authentication uh, authorization at the collection level 
so this request or any request below this will inherit the authorization from the parent which we have defined here so we don't need to specify it at the request level unless and until that particular request is utilizing another sort of authorization in that case i would recommend to create another collection in order to um, make um, if, if a request is using separate authorization so we'll go back we have the body parameter we'll just click on hit send and wait for the response so once you get the response you will see all the project data again right so you'll see the project GID that we sent and it will give the response as the status is 200 okay that means the server responded and the operation was successful the time and the size and here you see that the name of the project has been changed to RCV postman project update now let's save this request so that, so that we don't lose this data so we'll click on save and you can see that the request has been saved in asana test demo collection so that is pretty much all about the put request in postman in the next tutorial we will understand about the delete request in postman so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching